Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Jealousy Scheme of Kristen and Alex Sarah's Proof for Xander According to teasers for Monday, March 25, S episode of Days of Our Lives, Maggie Kariakis will be astounded by Constantine Meliuni's forgiveness after learning the full account of the pawn eliminating Katharina. John promised to take a flight to Greece in order to confess to the police, and he apologized to Constantine. But Constantine surprised John by telling him out loud that he was sorry, so he might be adamant that John shouldn't waste his life on something he can't even recall committing. Naturally, this could be Constantine's ruse to spare John from going to jail. As he intended, Constantine would much rather exact revenge on his own, thus he wants John to remain in the city and serve as his pawn. In light of this, Constantine would benefit from seeming to forgive John. Here, Constantine will win both by keeping John from leaving town and by winning points with Maggie. Day's teasers indicate that Maggie will be won over by Constantine and that as a result, they will become closer. If Maggie is moved enough at that precise time, she might even plant a kiss on Constantine. Regarding Constantine, Sarah Horton will try her hardest to persuade Xander Cook that he is mistaken. Maybe Sarah will hear that Constantine was able to forgive John in spite of his daughter's death and use it as evidence that he has turned around. Still, nothing seems to be changing Xander's opinion that Constantine is not good news. Xander might keep an eye on Constantine since he doesn't want Maggie to fall victim to the conman swindle. According to teasers for other days, Kristen DiMera and Alex Kiriakis will commiserate since neither of them is moving forward with their desired romantic relationships. Even yet, Kristen won't believe they should stop up and she and Alex will plan a fresh plot to make Brady Black and Teresa Donovan envious. According to DOL spoilers, if Alex and Kristen act like they're in a relationship of their own, there might be some staged dating involved. In any event, viewers of Days may anticipate Kristen will be heavily involved in initiating a cooperative plan, so we'll provide updates on the antics she's about to pull off with Alex's help. Stay tuned for more predictions on Alex and Teresa's ambitious scheme, as revealed by spoilers from Days of Our Lives. Jude's Party, John's Confession, Stefan's Deal, and Harris's News. Days in Our Lives According to Friday, March 22 Spoilers, John Black intends to admit to a long-ago crime. Stefan Demera acknowledges having collaborated with Clyde Weston. Ava Vitali has horrible news from Harris Michaels. Nicole Walker and Sloane Peterson talk about party arrangements. According to Spoilers on Days of Our Lives, John thinks he killed Constantine Meliuni's daughter in Greece years ago. But nobody is even aware of this atrocity. Is John even to blame for this woman's demise? John doesn't remember, and neither Steve Johnson, Stephen Nichols, nor Constantine saw anything. Was it someone else's doing? Stefan, meantime, obeyed Harris's directions and surrendered himself in. But Stefan has also insisted on calling E.J. Demera to finalize the agreement. Since EJ can't seem to make Stefan vanish, it appears that his intentions to ship him off to unknown destinations have failed. When Ava learned that Stefan had shot Harris, she became enraged. Even when Ava smacked him, it wasn't her first choice of action. Considering that Harris was on the verge of death at the moment, Ava might have been pleased to shoot Stefan. Ava was in disbelief that Stefan was capable of this. After all, Stefan ought to have left Harris alone since he was aware of Ava's feelings for him. It's likely that Harris won't be able to assist Ava because Stefan would likely turn against her in order to preserve himself. Although Ava has been working with Harris, she hasn't always been truthful. Is Harris done blaming her or herself, or is he able to assist Ava? Is Harris's professional life more significant than the person who betrayed him? Walker, Nicole and Sloan Peterson talk about the party. Greg Vaughn's character, Eric Brady, consented to allow Nicole attend his son Jude Brady's christening. Nicole explained to Eric that the purpose of the celebration was to atone for Jude's kidnapping by Sloan. Eric is not fond of Nicole and Sloan talking about the party. Will a fight between Nicole and Sloan spoil the celebration? A great deal of disorder tends to finally become a problem. 
Will Jude's parentage be revealed in its true form? Will Clyde crash the party in an attempt to get to EJ and ruin it? Leo Stark is one of the people present who knows the truth, so it's difficult to predict what will happen to him when the party ends. Will he reveal it? What has changed Maggie's perception of Constantine? And is she, at last, seeing a glimpse of the true kind of man he is? Sarah tries to persuade Xander that Constantine has altered his ways in the meantime. And Xander, above all, ought to know how feasible that is, don't you think? John is dealing with his past while being supported by those closest to him, as he is rocked by recent disclosures. Can Marlena and Steve, however, communicate with him? In an attempt to achieve their goals, Kristen and Alex devise a cunning plan. Brady and Teresa are being set up for a trap, but will they fall into it? They have declared their love and faced death. However, are Tripp and Wendy prepared for what happens next? Abe and Paulina pause to consider the genuine miracles they have been fortunate enough to witness. It appears like at least some of Alex and Kristen's plan has been successful. How are we aware? For Brady is going to stand up in front of his opponent. Kristen needs to practice her Teresa role in the meantime. Everything could be lost with only one misstep, Holly is prepared to inform Nicole of Tate's drug use. Is her mother, however, truly prepared to hear what she has to say? Tate, being the sensitive person that he is, writes in his journal about his complex feelings for Holly. When Marlena and Eric get ready for the baby's christening, they talk extensively about the, at best, challenging dynamic between Sloane and Nicole. Xander pays Harris a visit to share some brief news. In essence, the Australian wants everyone to know that he did not shoot Harris. Stephanie and Everett need to take a seat and attempt to work things out because things have gotten complex, we have a feeling that these upcoming episodes will be significant. Why? Since people are coming to celebrate Jude's baptism. And let's just say that things like this tend to get a little out of control in this town. Nicole and EJ are having trouble handling Holly, so things get off to a bad start. Marlena is occupied with persuading John that forgiving himself is the most crucial thing he can do at this moment. However, it doesn't look like he'll be able to accomplish it as quickly as his wife would like. Melinda's directives for Leo consist of just two basic terms, hold on to silence. Brady and Roman are available to provide assistance when required. One doubt lingers as the christening ceremony begins, will the truth about the infant eventually surface? Eric had been a priest before, so he's used to hearing confessions. However, what will be his response to the one Holly is going to make? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.